Hello, Joe Biden. This do not work anymore. Fear, fear, fear. Telling people you're going to die, you're going to die. Uh, this many people died. Man, we started dying soon as we were born. It, it doesn't work, especially here in Texas. We're not afraid of all this fear tactics these guys are using. For what? It, it doesn't make sense. Maybe these young kids are afraid of it. People get a little older and they understand all these games, these political games. Just just listen to this. It don't even sound real. On the day that we hit 190,000 dead in the United States because of COVID-19, we just learned from the Washington Post columnist Bob Woodward that the president of the United States has admitted on tape in February he knew about COVID-19 that had passed through the air. He knew how deadly it was. It was much more deadly than the flu. He knew and purposely played it down. Worse, he lied to the American people. He knowingly and willingly lied about the threat it posed to the country for months. He had the information. He knew how dangerous it was. Now, while this deadly disease ripped through our nation, he failed to do his job on purpose. It was a life and death betrayal of the American people. Experts say that if he had acted just, just one week sooner, 36,000 people would have been saved. If he acted two weeks sooner, back in March, 54,000 lives would have been spared in March and April alone. Hey, Biden, if I would have bought Amazon stocks in 1997, I would have millions and millions of dollars. Maybe uh, if I would have sold Tesla before it started dropping, I would have saved thousands and thousands of dollars. So this is crazy. But anyway, just just listen to the rest of this and uh, I'll let you guys go on about your daily lives. You know, his failure has not only cost lives, it sent our economy in a tailspin. It cost millions more in American livelihoods. This is a recession created by Donald Trump's negligence, and he is unfit for this job as a consequence of it.